Thank you for choosing SuperClean's Duramix 8000 for the best hot water sanitation in your plant or factory. The Duramix 8000 is renowned for its long life, easy and efficient 15 minute on the wall preventative maintenance, and industry leading 3 year warranty. In this video, we will show you how to set up your Duramix 8000 for the first time to make your future operations quick and easy. Beginning at the top right is the cold water inlet and blue cold water globe valve. On the left is the steam inlet controlled by the red steam globe valve. Behind the red steam globe valve are the Duramix lock nuts that help set and lock in the correct amount of steam pressure. The lock nuts do not need to be adjusted unless your desired steam pressure changes. The temperature adjustment hand wheel is located to the right of the temperature gauge and is used to make fine adjustments to the temperature output. The temperature hand wheel does not need to be adjusted unless your desired temperature output changes and should not be touched during everyday operation. Below is the primary output, where you connect your industrial hot water hose. SuperClean's exclusive secondary outlet is used by some factories and plants to connect sinks, showers, or SuperClean 6000 series single valve water stations. This great feature allows factories to pipe in a secondary station that will operate at the same water temperature that exits the Duramix 8000's primary outlet. This unit requires steam pressure of 30 psi to 150 psi and water pressure of 30 psi to 150 psi. To set your desired temperature for the first time and to begin operation, open the cold water globe valve to its full open position by turning the blue globe valve counterclockwise. Next, open the steam globe valve to its full open position by turning the red globe valve counterclockwise. Always open the cold water globe valve before opening the steam globe valve. Begin spraying water from the nozzle, continuing to spray throughout the course of the temperature adjustment of the unit. To adjust the water temperature output, use the temperature adjustment hand wheel, turning it clockwise to increase the water temperature. Once you reach your desired water temperature output, Leave the temperature control hand wheel at its current position to achieve the same water temperature output at every operation. To shut down your mixing unit, close the steam valve by turning the red globe valve clockwise until it is fully closed. The steam valve should always be closed before the cold water valve. Next, close the cold water valve by turning the blue globe valve clockwise until it is fully closed. After both globe valves are fully closed, spray the nozzle to release excess water. When all water flow has stopped, your hose and nozzle can be stored until your next washdown cycle. Your mixing station should now be ready for everyday operation at the same set temperature. To resume operation, simply open the blue and red globe valves to their full open position. If the water temperature output is still too hot after fully turning the temperature adjustment hand wheel counterclockwise, begin to decrease the steam flow by closing the steam globe valve by slowly turning clockwise while spraying the nozzle. Once the desired temperature is achieved, loosen the back lock nut by turning clockwise. Then retighten the front lock nut cap by turning clockwise until hand tight. Turn the back lock nut counterclockwise until hand tight to secure the lock nut cap. You will now achieve the same water temperature output with every operation. No further temperature adjustments are needed with everyday operation unless your desired water temperature output changes. Simply open the globe valves to begin operation and follow the regular shutdown procedure. In the case that the temperature output is still too cold after fully turning the temperature adjustment hand wheel clockwise, begin to decrease the cold water flow by closing the cold water globe valve by slowly turning it clockwise while spraying the nozzle. Continue turning until the temperature output stabilizes at your desired temperature. Cold water globe valve adjustments need to be done at the start of each operation in the rare case that the temperature output is too cold, followed by the regular shutdown procedure. Adjusting the cold water globe valve can affect the water output. Low water output could be due to low steam pressure in your factory relative to the cold water pressure. 
To get a rough idea of your flow rate at a certain temperature, please refer to the temperature rise versus flow rate output chart. Higher temperatures can yield lower flow rates depending on the steam input from your factory. Your exact water output at any temperature will depend on the steam and water pressure in your factory. Visit our website for a detailed temperature rise versus flow rate output chart. For more information on SuperClean's Duramix 8000 steam and cold water mixing station and supporting materials, please visit www.superclean.com or call 1-800-769-9173.